I was in session with a private yoga therapy client recently when they told me that they'd really like to practice restorative yoga. They feel like it would be beneficial for them, but they find it difficult to be still in silence. That's very common and that inspired this yoga practice today for those times when you feel like it is difficult to be still, but you want to turn inward into that quiet inner world, that sense of rejuvenation. Welcome or welcome back. I'm Karen and for this practice you're going to need at the end a blanket and something to cover your eyes because we're going to be easing our way into Shavasana. This is the final resting pose usually in yoga asana classes and one that is known as corpse pose where you lie down and you do nothing. So in preparation for that, we're going to be moving and breathing and trying on different yoga therapy techniques that you may not have experienced before, some of which are inspired by Ayurveda. So let's greet the energy of movement and in, begin in table position in cow and cat. So as you are stacking yourself here in table, you may tuck your toes or not. Do what feels like would be supportive for your body throughout this whole practice. The pace is your own. On an exhale, arch your whole spine. Relax your head. Follow that to the inhale, tilting the tailbone up. Belly drops, shoulder blades together. Throat reaches through. Exhale, round. Inhale, lower. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. We're greeting the energy of rajas, which is one of the three gunas. These are the three qualities of nature that make us and all things up in our world. And rajas is movement, action. But too much creates a sense of disharmony. We need the moments of stillness so that we can keep taking action. Now, the next time that you lower your belly into cow, invite yourself back into table, move your hips to the right, send back toward your heels, moving to the left, forward to the left hand, the right hand, and then keep going in that circle. A nice neutral spine, just big circles, touching on the four points of contact you have toward the floor. And then go in the opposite direction. Smooth out your breath here. One half of the circle can be inhale, the other half exhale. Whatever works for you with a smoother, longer breath. Almost simulating that whirlwind of movement that we have in our daily lives. After you've completed those few rounds on that second side, come back into center and just pause for a moment. Notice your four points of contact on the floor. And now let's flip it. Go onto your back. Plant down through the soles of your feet, toes point forward, edges as wide as the mat, and lower your spine and your head. Drop the knees side to side. Take the arms out to a T, palms down. Drop the knees on an exhale to the right as you look to the left hand. Then inhale the knees up as the head lifts. Exhale knees to the left, look to the right hand. Rolling on the side of the head. Knees and gaze coordinate, looking in opposite direction. Smooth out your breath and let the pace be your own. You don't need to slow it down right now. Just greet yourself where you're at. And this is how we come back to harmony is when we listen to our own rhythms. We find ways to accept what's been going on with ourselves, accept our schedules, our obligations, and also accept that we don't need to keep going just to keep going. That taking time to be still is so essential to keep moving. 
The next time that your knees drop over to the left and your gaze is to the right, invite yourself back up to the center. Pull your knees in toward your heart. Wrap your arms around the thighs, underneath the legs, whatever feels comfortable. The legs do not have to be together here, just something that feels contained and nice. Maybe rocking side to side on the low back and feeling your breath push against the legs. Inhale and exhale, emptying the breath completely, finding a bit more space to compress inward. And then as you inhale, releasing some of that compression, expanding the breath, and then exhale, gently bringing the legs in, navel in towards spine, lifting the pelvic floor, and releasing the pelvic floor, filling the breath one more time here. Guide it in, exhale. Plant the feet down, roll onto your belly. You're gonna come into Cobra, Bhujangasana. And so as you are on your abdomen here, bring your hands in front of you, stack the palms and set your forehead on top. Bring your legs together and feel your feet planting the tops of the feet into the floor. Now three times here, we are going to hiss out the mouth, just like a snake. And the purpose of this is to send out any restlessness, agitation, sense of overactivity that you've collected in your tissues. So with your forehead here on your hands, start to breathe into your abdomen and mentally sweep through your whole body and feel as though you are collecting all of that restlessness into the stomach area. Sweeping through the whole body and just energetically imagining as though all senses of overactivity were collecting in that one point, just like you would sweep up a floor and put all of the debris into one pile. Now from that center, we're going to imagine that as you hiss out the mouth, all of that is going out, just emptying it over into the earth, letting her recycle it. She takes all of it and transforms it. So bring your palms now to the chest area, flat on the floor, in line with the center of the chest. Forehead is down, elbows reach up toward the ceiling, shoulder blades hug together. Use just enough effort to anchor into your feet but relax your buttocks and your legs. Now on an inhale, gather up the restlessness. Breathe in as you push into the palms and lift through the heart. And then hiss out the mouth. Lower down, rest. Gather up again, big inhale, all of the restlessness. And send it out the mouth. Last time, lowering down, getting a little bit of a reprieve. Now inhale, send it out like you mean it. Lower a cheek to the mat, rest your arms by your sides and relax, legs can open. Or if you get a sense that you need a couple more hisses, sometimes three is not enough. Just sense what's here in the abdomen, what's here in the throat. And as you're ready, let's bring the hands back by your side so you can press yourself up, coming into a comfortable seat. You may enjoy sitting on a blanket here. We're going to be cross-legged for a bit, 
place the soles of our feet together as well. So anything that will support your hips so that your thigh creases and you experience no pain there or in your knees. Now from here, let's take the fingertips up to the head and we're going to start massaging vigorous. Little massages, circles, all throughout the whole scalp. And then let's bring the palms in front and create some heat. Place that heat into the eyes, palm the eyes. And then begin to massage around the forehead, the face. Just going wherever it feels good, rubbing, rubbing, going up into the ears now. Going to the back of the neck and pulling one side, and then the other. Going to the tops of the shoulders, the chest. Now start to rub the chest vigorously in circles. And then go to one shoulder with one hand and run down the hand all the way to the fingers. Flip the palm up and go up. Then trace it to the other side. Down the outer hand, in, up. Switch, down, out, up down, top, and then up. Yeah, just like that. Just kind of finding your way, nice and vigorous, feeling into every point, and then take your hands down toward your low back. Circles here toward the kidney area, rubbing, leaning forward if you like. Down toward your glutes. And now coming toward the legs, let's set the feet in front soles of the feet together if this is comfortable, and run down the outer legs to the feet, up the inner legs, down, out, and up, out, and up, and just keep doing that a few more times, feeling the entirety of your body here. We'll close the legs together, going back up to the low back, maybe even the belly a little, Going up again to the heart, to the upper back, to the neck, and then resting the hands down, palms up, close the eyes, feel any sensation of buzzing or tingling in the palms, or in the whole body. Notice what happens when the movement begins to transform into stillness. And now let's set up onto our backs. You'll place a thin blanket underneath your head, or you can roll that blanket up and place it under your knees if you know you need some support. Keep your eye pillow to the side. Extend your legs long, but this time before we open into Shavasana, you'll keep the legs together. Heels are on the mat, arms are close in by your sides, palms down. Begin to flex and point the feet. This will start to move your body up and down on the floor. The back of your head will slide, perhaps even your palms, your elbows. Notice as you're vigorously pedaling the feet together like a tail that more and more of your body gets involved, get loose, allow the vibration and the bounce to happen. Greet that rajas, transform it for three, two, one, relax. Open your feet wide. Reset with your head on the blanket if you need or the blanket under your knees. Place the eye covering now if you like, optional, but really nice to close off the sense of sight. Place your palms temporarily on your abdomen toward your navel. Let the fingertips touch, let the elbows rest on the floor, keep the elbows where they are and open your arms back out into a V. Now relax your shoulders arms, hips, and legs.
And as you're welcoming stillness and silence, let any mental activity drop down through the throat, allowing your attention to reside in your heart, your center. Imagining a tiny candle flame in the heart. A tiny candle flame within a big cave in the heart. And see that flame unflickering, a gentle illumination. Relax even more through your face, jaw, until your whole body is held and supported by the earth. this gentle flame in the heart. Allow yourself to be captivated by it. Relaxing your gaze into it. Remain soft and receptive to the stillness. We'll stay here together for some time and I'll let you know when it's time to come out.
allow three more breaths to make the transition from stillness to a gentle movement. And as you're ready, awakening your body with any stretches that you enjoy. Noticing what it's like to transition from stillness to movement. And seeing if the movement takes on a different quality here. Eventually gather your knees inward and roll into a ball on your side. Press up to a seat, perhaps keeping the eyes closed. And we will place the hands together in Anjali Mudra, together at the heart, bowing slightly down and in with the chin toward the chest to honor and acknowledge all the realized beings who have brought the knowledge of yoga to us and to honor our time together. As you release your hands and open your eyes, begin to take in the world and move again. Notice if it takes on a different sense, a different quality, perhaps a felt sense of being centered, rooted, and grounded as a result of allowing yourself to move, giving yourself this time to greet yourself and your energy where you're at so that you can go where you want to go, even if that includes just a restorative yoga pose like Shavasana. Thanks so much for practicing with me. What an honor. I'd love to join you in private yoga therapy to continue your own individual journey, working on whatever health or wellness goal that you have. So you can visit my website, karenbeginski.com to schedule a free consultation and see what working together might be like. If you'd like to continue to practice all other types of restorative yoga, as well as yoga therapy classes, you can find those on my website and my YouTube channel. Subscribe if you're not already, give this video a like, and as always, I love to hear from you, so leave a comment and let me know how your practice went. I'll see you next time.